Hey, what's up, you guys? We are here at day one of Cinco, and I am with the boys of Buzz Seclusion who just hit the stage. How you feeling, guys? Uh, tell me what it's like pre-show, and then how you feel after show. Who's okay. well, I know that for me, and like all the guys know this, I'm like super negative right before the show. I'm always like, I want to go home. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. I want to go home. I don't know why. But then once we get up on stage, I get like super pumped, put out like an awesome performance, and then afterwards, I'm just like, I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was fun, but now I'm hungry, I'm tired, and I need to go home. Uh, you know, so this crowd, it's crazy. Is it crazy doing these kind of events? Because I feel like there's so many different types of artists that it's like, you know, you have some people here for country, some here for like rock, some for pop. I mean, is it weird having that kind of crowd? Because it's probably very different when you guys do like more of a rock show, right? Yeah. Dude, pretty much, he describes everything. The much. girls here, I saw them, like in the audience, they're like, "Oh, they're so dreamy." But I'm like, "You probably have like at a rock show. It's like people are going kind of crazy." Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool crowds, right? Fans yeah. are fans, man. Yeah, yeah. That was, it was awesome. Yeah. It was a good time. Gotta love all the fans. Yeah. You know, I saw some girls in like the front that like knew some of our songs. Like when we started playing "Fly Away," I saw some girls jumping up, like, "Yeah, you know it!" Yeah. 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 Like, we really love yeah. seeing that people uh, know our music and singing along. We really appreciate it that. Means, yeah, it means, it means more to us that that um, the fans like our music than like 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 our looks. You know, yeah. like I I know for others it's it's more about the looks, but for us it's really. I mean, we got in this like you know, Justin and I started this for the music, and all of the guys in our band. I mean, they're in it for the music. So when the other fans share that with us, when they share the music with us, it's like it's like a dream come true. I mean, that's what we live for, you know. So yeah, like it's so hard being beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounded like why do I have to be attractive? I know. Why can't I, I be ugly and play? Music? No, I was gonna say because there's a lot of bands that you hear on the radio that you're like, this is a great song. I love this song, and then you have no idea what the band looks like. You know, that's yeah. for most yeah. bands. Yeah. Yeah. Music is blind. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so you guys tell me what uh, anything special you did for the set today? You, anything different, like new songs? Stop looking at the girls. I think you're in a <laughs> Sorry, Diamante. <laughs> So what you guys can't see behind the camera is two really pretty girls just walked in, so they stopped focusing on me. <laughs> Sorry, we're still guys. It happens. Um, so, so you, did anything special you guys did for the show? Any new songs? I almost, I almost threw Cameron out into the crowd for a second. Oh, that was so scary. So, okay, so I'm like throwing like stuff out to the crowd, right? And all of a sudden, I start lifting off the ground. And at first, I thought it was Brennan, because Brennan does that sort of thing. And then it was Justin, and then I was like... It scared the crap out of me. I thought he was going to throw me into the crowd. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it would have just, it would have been like school of rock. You would have just been like, <laughs> smacked right, on the All the little ground. girls would have been like, nah, nah, like, nah. I'm not breaking my nails for this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you're skinny and all, but still, like, no. They're like, you're still too dang heavy. Yeah. Boom. So everybody, tell me what you guys listen to. I'm curious. Like, what do you guys listen to when you're just chilling? Um, what kind of music? Uh, oh, man. I listen, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to. I listen to a lot of like Muse. I used to be obsessed with Green Day, but not anymore. Um, uh, okay, but my favorite band is Killers. I love the Killers; they're the best. Um, I listen to like 106.7, 98.7, like the alternative rock stations, right? And um, um, but then again, I, I love songs that are like musical songs, like Let It Go, Let It Go. And then I also like really classical music. Like when I go to bed, I'll listen to like Beethoven and stuff like that. And like, it's good for studying. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Basically everything. Country. Yeah, I listen to country. <laughs> See, when people say everything, I'm like, okay, do you listen to like Hindu music, polka, like uh, like South American? Like, like, yeah. Well, I go to Musicians like, Institute, so they, they cover uh, they everything. everything. <laughs> and so I like everything, but okay. I like funky stuff. I like people stuff that people can dance you to. You are very funky. I like Reflections yeah. by Mr. Wives. I like stuff that people can <laughs> Music that people can dance to is just the best. Yeah. For me. So my boy got moves. Okay, what do you listen to? My favorite band is the Black Keys. I think they're absolutely amazing. Um, other than that, like, you know, just listen to, like, K-Rock, 98.7, stuff like that. Um, Brendan and I really like Panic at the Disco. Yeah, Panic at oh, the Disco. That band's awesome. And what else do I listen to? <laughs> no, no, no. And then I listen to, like, a lot of classic rock, because that's, like, what I grew up with. My dad was always, like, in his garage, like, listening to, like, Journey and stuff like that. So every, anything like that. Yeah, I listen to a, a, a wide variety of music. I listen to 98.7, 106.7. I also listen to classic rock. One of my favorite classic rock bands is ACD. Well, that's actually my favorite, ACDC. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, like recently, I've been listening to a lot of um, some smaller bands, like uh, this one band called the the Wombats, and a band like Not a Surf. Um, I really like this one band called Bad Veins, but um, kind of 
lower like non-famous bands because they have good yeah. music that no one's discovered yet but it's like oh, yeah, but um Paramore's sick, oh yeah and also i really like um yeah panic at the disco and uh yeah. yeah, everyone's getting really specific. I would say in general, just for me, whatever's got a catchy melody, something that sticks in your head, something you're going to be singing, just sing along to. Uh, but more specifically, like alternative rock, like 98.7, K-Rock and stuff. And uh, maybe like a maybe like a Maroon 5, Bruno Mars, maybe some older classic rock like Bon Jovi and everyone. Yeah. Because yeah. they would listen to something really weird we wouldn't expect. Ooh, like, um, everybody was surprised when I was like jamming out to Demi Lovato. Okay. It was like, uh, I don't know what the song, what's that song called? Is it's it me? Hard- no, heart, yeah, heart attack or something. Dude, that song's awesome. Like, I love that song. Okay, okay, I love it. All the like ho- classic rocks going, then that song comes on, and the whole group's like, yeah. Well, it's just like, yeah, I'm usually like a classic rock guy. Like, I just listen to like, you know, Black Keys are like so throwback. It's like, you know. I, I love when a bunch of people get into the car, and then I'm just like, all right, guys, ready to go? Let's go. Then I put on that one song, like the like the hamster dance song. Everyone's like, what is that? Extremely accurate. Yeah, that was like, I don't think I've ever heard you do that out of like the, no, the years best. I've known you. The best. Every time Cole and I get in the car together, oh. he grabs his iPod. That's what you get by Paramore. We look like such idiots in the car. We're literally like, we're just like. You're like those people at the red lights. Everyone's like, who the hell yeah, dude, is that next to you? Yeah, dude. At the light. <laughs> the guy that's just like rocking out. He's like, <laughs> like the guy that's jamming Britney Spears or whatever. Yeah. And he just like goes crazy in the car. <laughs> doing the light. Yeah. <laughs> that was my best Britney Spears. All right, to take Stacey's us out. Oh, Stacy's mom. Stacy's mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really Stacy's mom. I think everyone wishes they had a Stacy's mom moment. Yeah, absolutely. So to take us out, what's next for you guys? Like, what's the big picture? Um, like what what do we want to do I mean do we want to be on the radio do we want to keep doing shows like this do we want to play like warp tour like what do we guys want to do oh I guess uh, we're dropping a couple EPs and then uh, we're really hoping some stuff gets picked up and played on radio and then get more well known and start doing uh, bigger tours and stuff Cameron yeah, nation- uh, nationwide tour would be yeah. my, like that would be like, that would be like the best uh, uh, nationwide honestly I, I want to I just I want to I want to play in front of crowds of like something in like the 40 to 60,000 people. <laughs> I know that's like such a huge goal, but like, oh, I see other bands do it, and I'm just like, oh my, you do get chills. My, my goal for next year is getting us on Coachella. That looks so fun. That'd be cool. Coachella, I was just like watching it at home. I'm like, I need to do this. <laughs> like, like, I have nothing else to do. Let's go to Coachella. Let's try it. Let's try it, you know. Well, you know. Just um, like, get up. I think I'll do it today. Yeah. Let's go. go to the grocery store. Go to Coachella. All right, you guys. Well, if you did not know, this is the one-year anniversary of us meeting um, Above Seclusion. You guys yeah. debuted here. You didn't give me a gift. Uh, you didn't give us a gift. Uh, yeah, we interviewed you a year ago, and you didn't even like tattoo you said, it on your body. You didn't even a I gift. Have, I thought you said kiss. You can have my sweaty shirt. Oh. I thought he said kiss. So I was like, <laughs> no. I said <laughs> you, can, you can have my sweaty shirt that I just got done playing. Well, Yay! Thank you. you. I, can totally imagine, I can totally imagine like a future wife just being looking at your arm, being like, no. "Who's Chris?" <laughs> <laughs> Randomly. All right, you guys. One year ago, we met these guys, and here they are a year later, playing at Cinco, and we are signing out from the Avalon. Say goodbye to uh, Above Seclusion.